Hello and welcome to the classroom. If you're new here, my name is Miss Kathy and this is Sue. And in this classroom, we do a complete preschool, pre-K, kindergarten with a little modification, complete lesson for you every day, Monday through Friday. So please subscribe parents and also go to my website for a free lesson plan and all the printables that go along with every day our lesson here together. Well, let's get started, Sue. Today, Q is for the very quiet cricket. We're going to have so much fun, and we're even going to look at a real grasshopper during our science time. So, Sue, why don't you have a seat? Because it's time for us to do our class job. We have to feed Fred. Hi, Fred. Here's some fish food for you. Well, now that we have fed Fred, let's turn around and see what day it is. The month is September, and let's reach into our can and see how we will count. It says we're going to jump. Of course, we're going to jump like a cricket. Are you ready? Do you want to stand and jump? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Today is September 6th. Can you say that? September 6th. If you want to know what day of the week it is, go to the top. It starts with a W and it's right in the middle. What day starts with this sound? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wednesday. Very good. Today is Wednesday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, let's look outside and see what our weather is like today. Maybe your weather is sunny, or maybe it's rainy. Maybe it's windy or cloudy, or I hope not, but maybe it's stormy. Which one of those describes your weather? When I do like this with my microphone, you can shout it out. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is. It is. It is. Out today. It is. It is, it is out today. Well, let's dress Weather Bear. Weather Bear, I think you probably will want to wear shorts today and a t-shirt. And what is the season right now? Hmm. It's summer. The season is summer. We will begin fall right there on that day. That'll be not many more days until the first day of fall. Well, that was our calendar and weather time. And now it's time for our letter of the day. Today's letter is the letter Q. Can you say Q? Q is for quiet cricket. We'll read a story about that soon. Q is also for quilt, and that's how I decorated letter Q today. I just put little pieces of fabric on my letter Q so that it looked kind of like a quilt. A quilt is a big blanket made by sewing lots of little pieces of fabric all together. So this is an idea for decorating your letter today. Q for quilt. And now let me show you how to write letter Q. Okay, so to write letter Q, you're going to start at the top and go all the way around and back. That's letter O. So start by writing letter O and then give it a tail. 
<laughs> so just make a little line that comes down here at the back. So let me show you how to write the letter Q. You're just going to make an O, go all the way around like a circle, and then make a little line at the bottom like a little tail. It's an O with a tail. An O with a tail. This is a big letter, so that means it goes upstairs and downstairs on the handwriting house, but not in the basement. Okay, so that was the big letter Q, and let me show you the little letter Q. So to make little Q, for big Q we made a big O. For little Q, we're gonna make a little O. And then right beside it, we're gonna make a line that goes down, and then we're just gonna bounce up just a little bit. So let me show you how to make that little letter Q. We're going to start downstairs, make a little O this time, and then make a line that goes down and just bounces up. Make that little O and then a line down and bounce. Jump up, maybe like a cricket. Down and jump, just a little, little jump. Make an O downstairs and then go into the basement and jump up just a little bit. Well, I would love to cheer for you because I know you're doing a great job with your handwriting time. And here's a sticker for your handwriting paper. You can keep practicing today if you'd like. Well, now it's time to talk about the sound that letter Q makes. Letter Q makes this sound. Qua, qua, qua. Can you make that sound too? Letter Q says qua, qua, qua. Letter Q says qua, 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 as in quiet. Can you put your finger right here on your lips? Qua, 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 as in quiet. Well, let's play the quiet game to practice that sound and help make it stick. I'm going to set the timer and I'm going to say go. And we're going to try to be as quiet as we can. We'll see who can be the quietest, okay? Ready, get set, go. Whoa, that was hard to be so quiet. You did great. Let's play again. What does letter Q say? Qua, 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 as in quiet. Get ready, get set, go. Whoa, that's a hard game to play. What does letter Q say? Q says qua. Qua, qua, as in quiet. Let's play it one more time. Get ready, get set, go. Whoa, I almost talked. You did a great job. You were so quiet. What does Q say? Qua, qua. Qua, as in quiet. Well, that was our letter recognition, handwriting, and phonics time. And now it's time for math. This week we're working on the number four. So let me show you how to write number four. First, you're going to make an L. Just go down and out, just like letter L. And then right beside it, you're going to make a line like that. To me, this kind of looks like a ladder. If I put another line here, it would really look like parts of a ladder, wouldn't it? Looks like parts of a ladder. So I think the ladder could be broken though. Let's look at it again. Down and out with a line right here. Yep, the ladder is definitely broken. In fact, there are pieces of wood hanging. One, two, three, four pieces of wood 
are hanging on our ladder. Let's count the little pieces of wood. One, two, three, four. This is number four. Let's practice number four by jumping four times like a cricket. You ready? One, two, three, four. Now a cricket chirps by rubbing its arms together. So let's rub our arms together four times. One, two, three, four. Now let's blink our eyes four times. Crickets have compound eyes. One, two, three, four. Now let's chirp four times. You ready? Chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> very, very good. Well, that was our math time for today. And for our color, and shape practice, let's take a look at Ricky Rectangle. Ricky Rectangle, don't get me wrong. Two sides short and two sides long. So this is a rectangle. We're gonna head over to the table and we're gonna build a rectangle. And did you see what color Ricky was? Green, green's the color that we're working on for this week. Green is spelled like this. G-R-E-E-N, G-R-E-E-N. I know how to spell green, G-R-E-E-N. Caterpillars are green and grasshoppers are too. I know how to spell green, G-R-E-E-N. Grasshoppers and crickets are a lot alike. Well, we're gonna head to the table and build a rectangle right now. Okay, so we're gonna use popsicle sticks and also crayons to build a rectangle. A rectangle has two sides that are long, two sides that are long, and a rectangle has two sides that are short. So here are two sides long, and two sides that are short. Can you point to the two long sides? Good. Can you point to the two short sides? Very good. Okay, now, if you don't have popsicle sticks and you'd like to make a rectangle, you can also use crayons and I'll show you how. Two sides are long. and two sides are short. Can you point to the two long sides? Very good. Can you point to the two short sides? Very good, nice job. Well, we're going to talk about the parts of a cricket today for science. So let's take a look at this cricket and I'll show you how to fill in all the parts. First, can you find the cricket's head? There it is. This is the cricket's head. I'm going to put the word head right here. H-E-A-D, head. On top of the cricket's head, are two antenna. Antenna starts with A and N. Antenna. A cricket has a head and on top two antenna. And also on the cricket's head are two eyes. They're compound eyes. You can look for letter C. C for compound. Compound eyes right here. And then I know you can see the wings. Where are the cricket's wings? Here they are. W is for wings. There we go. Let's put the wings, W-I-N-G-S, wings right there. What do you think these are? 
These are the long legs the cricket uses for jumping. L is for legs. L-E-G-S, legs. There are two more parts to the cricket. This part right here, just past the head, is called the thorax. T-H says th, as in thorax. And then this part right here at the end of the cricket, that's called the abdomen. Look for A, B, ab, abdomen. So those are the parts of a cricket. I don't have a real cricket to show you, but I do have a grasshopper to show you, and they have the same body parts. So let's head back over to the table and I'll let you see the grasshopper I found. Take a look at this grasshopper I found. Now let me zoom out because I want you to be able to see the jar that I'm using. So I just have a big jar and at the top there's some lace with lots of holes. So I want to make sure that my cricket can breathe. And I'm also going to put this cricket back outside when we get finished looking at it. And, and it's not actually a cricket, it's really a grasshopper. But you can still see the legs and the antenna. And it has a head and compound eyes thorax and abdomen and wings. Look at this grasshopper. Really cool. Can you see the antenna? Wow. It's fun to observe insects for just a little while, but we always want to make sure that we let them go back outside when we're finished looking at them. That is super neat. Okay, well today for art, we're going to make a cricket headband. Do you want to see the, let's look a little bit, just a tiny bit more. I know you want to see him probably moving. There he is. Okay, well let's continue with our art. And then we'll read a story about a quiet cricket. For art today, we're making the cricket headband. So I'm going to cut out these two circles. You can see they look like compound eyes with lots of parts. If you don't have this printable, you can just make two circles on your own. And you can get this printable, parents, at my website. It's with the lesson plan and all the resources needed for your week. Let's just cut out the circles. These are the two eyes. Okay. And then we're going to make this into a headband. So I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to fold it in half just so I can see where to cut it in half. I'm going to glue the two halves together long ways like this so that it will fit around my head. And then I'm going to glue the two eyes right here. And if you have a pipe cleaner, you can bend it in the middle and you could tape it to the back. Those could be the two antenna. If you don't have a pipe cleaner, you can just leave off that step. That's okay. And then bring the two sides together and glue them like a circle. Ta-da! And now you have a headband and this can fit around your head and you can be a cricket today. Well, we're going to read about a very quiet cricket for our story time. Our book today is called the Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. 
Good morning, word of locust spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Mm, good day, mm, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Hi. Bumbled a, but a sputtle bee, slurping, a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of sloth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. How are you, hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good evening, whirred a dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good night, zzz, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was very quiet. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time, and this time, he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. The end. So now he's not such a quiet cricket anymore. He knows how to chirp. And Sue looks like a cricket today, doesn't she, with the headband that we made? Well, I hope you'll join us tomorrow. R is for rocks. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. See you tomorrow.